so just put a couple of coats of primer on um, should have started filming literally as I prepped it and primed it but completely forgot um, so this is just standard health as primer two coats so far I'm gonna put an extra coat on as well um, got a heat gun as well because it's literally freezing in our unit at the moment um, just a quick show around there's so our messy place uh, what a Saab, you've got a Nissan Duke over there, this wings for the Citroen C3 up in the corner over there, um, got a course up for sale, Citroen C3, um, micro we just servicing, and our two dailies do not seem right over there, what was that, Skoda, and the A4. So yeah, um, I'll crack on with this. And I will try and film as much as I can, just to give you guys an idea how to do stuff yourself, really. I mean, I'm no professional. I do, I, my background is in paint. Me and might turn out shit for all I know, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah, just don't be scared. Do do things at home. It costs, you know, a hell of a lot cheaper than taking them to a body shop. Um, but there are body shops out there who are brilliant. So, you know, it's all about fighting for money and you know whether or not it's worth doing it in the long run so but yeah i'll crack on this and i will show you the results soon just put on a third coat um it's quite hard to hold the camera at the same time as filming um but just to give a make sure you spray and cover the edges because obviously this is a completely different colour. This is going to be black beta. Um, starting off with grey. So you don't want any of the the edges showing really. So make sure you prime and prep the edges as well as doing the whole panel. So I'll go over that with a heat gun now. And then put a new coat on shortly. Right, so first can of paint so you just want to put a light dusting on initially hold it about you know 15 20 centimeters away go around the edges another like dust in just to cover as much as possible and then I'll go over heat gun quickly and start filming the second coat right just going over the heat gun the second coat be a bit more vigorous than this one do a always do like a, a test patch first just to a bit of blockage um, again, just hold it 15, 20 centimetres away. I'll try and go with the same motion as well. And then just go around the edges like I said earlier with the primer. So I'll go over the heat gun again. It will look patchy to begin with, but once it's dry later on, it should all hopefully blend in. And then we'll put some lacquer on top. Right, first coat of about to go on. As you can see, it's still quite patchy. Right, again, do a quick test patch first. 
Um, again, be a bit more thorough. Here, sir. Right, the tractor we're just about to put in then. One of the units say. The farm. Is the coat on? So give it some heat gun and put some lacquer on a bit. Right, just about to put the, the fourth and final coat of paint on. Again, to do a test match first. Just go over a bit more here. Four coats, go over the heat gun now, and then time to put some lacquer on. Right, so first, light covering of lacquer. Obviously, you see it's a little bit patchy, but that should be okay once the lacquer's over it. Right, again, always do a test patch first, and then just do a light coating of lacquer. I probably need about, I don't know, for maybe five coats to get some shine to it leave it 24 to 48 hours um, and then polish it to get rid of any orange peel effects but also it gives that extra bit of shine to match with the rest of the car and just go around the edges quickly I'll go over a heat gun quickly as well and then apply a, a second more full coat. Right, I'm just about to apply the second coat. Again, this one can go on a bit more thicker and more thorough. Try and hold it about 15 20 centimeters away from the panel. And really, the, sh the panel should be upright because you get a better spray action from the can. Especially if it's only half full, but this is a full can. I'll give it a quick light dusting afterwards. Okay, go around the edges as well. Right, and go over the heat gun as well. So, so yeah, well, probably the, the final coat of lacquer going on now. Um, I always try and put it on when it's a little bit tacky to just touch at the back of your knuckle. If you feel a slight tackiness to it, that's probably the best way of, um, or the best time rather to put lacquer on because it'll bond to it. So, again, test patch first, and then give it a Kind of spraying with. It will look patchy whilst it's drying. Um, leave it to cure, but like I said, 
24 to 48 hours or so. And then pop it back onto the bodywork, onto the car, because it'd just be so much easier doing that, polishing it, rather than it being on the floor. I'm going to give it quite a lot on the last coat, give it that extra bit of shine. Don't spray in one area for too long, so you'll get runs in it as well, you see. I think that should do it. Again, just go around the edge just quickly. All I'm using is um, Alfred's clear lacquer. Always seems to do the job. That's it, so I will post a video then when it's back on the car, probably just before I polish it, um, just to show you what it looks like compared to the rest of the panels on the car, and then after I've polished it to show you as well. So, so yeah, I will post a video up shortly. Right, we've got the wing on the Picasso, just give it a, um, a bit wet sand, so just about to apply some polish. So, fingers crossed, it comes up, because at the moment it looks absolutely horrendous. So, um, we're actually running it as well to get up to temperature, because we just make, we've just got a slight incline, incline there's um, an overheating issue, so I'm um, just doing a bit of engine work at the moment. But, but yeah, my job is to, to do this wing. Um, we've got some of this stuff, and the harsh pad as well, so yeah. Let's see how it turns out. So there's the wing done after three cups of polish with the Maguire stuff. Doesn't look too bad. Probably go over a few more times and that should be it really. So yeah, that's how you polish a car like an amateur. <laughs>